Thanks for staying with us on Midday Live. And we continue with more this afternoon. Let's talk about water shortage. And water shortage looms and supply to most parts of the country will soon be rushing to ensure equitable distribution. Now, the Ghana Water Company has cited the harsh Hamatan weather as well as human activity as the cause. The destruction of water bodies for construction, some being turned into refuse dumps and pollution from illegal mining, have destroyed several water bodies across Ghana. And this afternoon, we're speaking with Daryl Boso, who is the Deputy National Director Operations at Arocha Ghana, an environmental NGO. Good afternoon to you. He joins us via, via Skype this afternoon. Daryl, thanks for joining us on Midday Live. Good afternoon to you, and thank you also for having me. Yeah. Daryl, tell us, how serious is the state of destruction on our natural uh, sources in the country? Yes, um, thank you very much. I'm happy you asked about natural water systems, and that is actually what is responsible for the challenges we are facing now. As we all know from the statement from the Ghana Water Company, we are actually virtually having a crisis. And I want us to use crisis because this is the only way we are going to appreciate the kind of challenge Ghana is currently confronted with. If you move from the south of the country to the north, is it that the river bodies and also the streams and pools are polluted from galamsey activities or from illegal tree felling activities all the way to the north where dams and small streams are drying up because of also logging activities which is going on over there. So if you actually do a careful analysis, like they already said, it is all boiling down to the activities of um, human activities, basically from logging activities and also a failure to protect streams and river systems that are responsible to providing us um, water. And it is so serious that we see major um, basins like the Dainsu, like the Tunnel of Rain, and some others that really are responsible for giving water to the various reservoirs that sells water to various cities becoming dried up. And this is a, an issue we all need to be concerned about. For me, it's a crisis and we need to take it very seriously. Now, Daryl, in your view, should these distractions continue? You see Ghana importing water in the next five years, right? From what you are saying, I would have to agree with you. I mean, and the, I mean, for me, the truth is that no one will be willing to sell their water to you. Because all over the world, people are actually struggling to secure their water so they can ensure that people in their cities can have access. I mean, the idea of even importing water shouldn't be on our mind. What we need to do right now is to make sure we put in all the necessary measures. The last time I checked with some documents available with Ghana Water Company, they have about $5 billion to develop what they call a sustainable water asset strategy. And for me, that strategy should start with managing our natural water system, our rivers, our streams, our, our, our forest reserves that are responsible for ensuring that the water keeps flowing. This is where we should start from. Of course, it's good. We spend a lot of resources looking at the distribution system, looking at the reservoir, well, the treatment, and all of that. Daryl, uh, I'm sure I'm sure we would have to end it here with Daryl. It's a bit gloomy here with our internet connection having some little ones there. But Daryl uh, okay. Bosu is okay. the de Deputy National Director of Operations at Arocha Ghana, an environmental NGO, talking to us about uh, water shortage and the way forward as a country. We're going